Welcome to live interactive English. This is my friend Mike. Hi. And I'm Kiki. And yesterday、mm -hmm. we traveled to New England. Oh yes, we did. In the well, fall. We kind of did. We read an article about it. We're、Fine. still here in Taiwan. Well, let me use my imagination. Okay. All right. All right. And it is a good time to imagine being in New England because it is absolutely beautiful at this time of year. As we learned from yesterday's article, we were leaf peeping. Yes,、mm. leaf peeping at those brilliantly colored leaves.、Mm -hmm. As they turn gold, orange, red, brown, and even purple, as the leaves change, they will fall off those trees. Those leaves, they'll disappear for the winter until they grow back nice and green and young in the spring. And this happens actually rather quickly. So if you go to New England. August, September, October—that's a good time. And the weather gets cooler, the winds get stronger, the leaves will end up being a blanket on the ground, which is also spectacular. But by the time you get into December, snow arrives and bye-bye leaves, and it's just cold and not much fun until the summertime arrives. So it's a good time to go to New England, but do time it carefully.、Yeah. You don't want to be too early or too late for those leaves. You just reminded me、mm -hmm. of stepping on those crunchy crunch, leaves. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Yep, absolutely.、Yeah. Or you rake them up, you make a big pile because, of course, your mom and dad are like, "Don't leave the leaves on the grass." You got it. So you make a big Pile and then you jump, jump in the pile and it's lots of fun. So you、yeah. can definitely have fun with leaves uh, in uh, fall, in autumn. And the other thing I also remember is it's a little sad because the leaves are falling as the summer holiday ends. You're back at school, but also by the time most of the leaves have fallen. It's Halloween time. That's right. That will be the end of October. So it's really a great time of change. I can almost imagine the smell that you would get. You'd have,、wow. sometimes people would burn the leaves to get rid of them, so you have this woody smell in the air. Ah, it's absolutely lovely. Well, I feel like I'm starting to smell some cinnamon. Yeah. Oh, cinnamon <laughs> too. Yeah. You want to put that on your pumpkin pie? That's right. We're gonna get to all that in our article. So let's go for it. Beautiful colors aren't all that the New England countryside has to offer, though. As fall is a time of harvest, as a result, local festivals serve plenty of tasty fall treats, such as pumpkin pie, freshly squeezed apple cider, and clam chowder. One such festival is Halloween. Halloween is popular around the world, but it is taken especially seriously in New England. All right, so here we are with part two: a New England fall, leaf peeping, pumpkin pies, and pet parades. Beautiful、mm. colors aren't all that the New England countryside has to offer, though,、mm. as fall is a time of harvest. I almost forgot. Apple picking season is、mm -hmm. just before. Yeah, so there's all sorts of good stuff,、right. fresh stuff from the local farms. Yeah, and pumpkins. And pumpkins.、Uh, peach. Not so much peaches.、Oh. I think they're more Georgia. It's、oh. more hot weather. Well, cranberries.、Anyway. Oh yes, cranberries. cranberries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this is the time of the year、mm. where they really do offer a lot of opportunity to have good harvest and use these ingredients to make delicious. Pies、mm -hmm. and、know. other things too. Right. Okay. So here we have the word "offer,"、mm. and basically, it's when somebody gives somebody else an opportunity to accept or reject something. I have something. Would you like it? Ah, exactly. That's it. Right. Basically,、yeah. you don't have to take it. You can say no. Get that away from me. But I'm giving you the chance. That's your opportunity, right? I'm giving you a chance to take or use or have or whatever something. You can say yes or no. It's a free world. That's right. And and our example sentence is:、mm -hmm. France has a lot to offer visitors.、Oh, that's true. So France has a lot of different. 
things that visitors can do、mm-hmm. or or choose not to do. True. If you're a good host, of course, as a person, you would give someone something and they can have it. I would offer you a drink if you came over to my house.、Right. But yeah, we can also use it. I mean, France is not going around. I am a country. Would you like some cheese? No. <laughs> but we're saying in that place, you have the choices. Of all of these different things, right? right? Taipei or Taiwan offer many shopping opportunities, from night markets to fancy department stores. These are there for you to enjoy if you want. That's basically what we're saying. And during harvest. Any part of the world where they grow things, where they have farms, they will offer lots of fresh things for people to enjoy. Because harvest, both as a noun and a verb, is that time usually at the end of the summer time, at the end of the warmest seasons, the growing season, when the farmers will go out with maybe helpers or machines, and they will cut down all of the things that have been growing. They will pick the fruit that is now hanging fresh and ready to eat so deliciously from the tree. Trees. It's usually the fall, September, October. Farmers are gathering in all the things they've been patiently growing for months, and now they can take it off to market. Now the farmer's work is usually done because harvest can also be just a time of the year, right?、Mm-hmm. Harvest time is when the farmers are collecting all the food that's been growing, and then they kind of take a rest、mm-hmm. through the winter most of the time,、right. especially. In New England, so we can say after the harvest, there are lots of fresh foods to eat. In that sentence, you're kind of reading it as after the farmers collect all the food they've grown, there's a lot of food to eat because <laughs> that's the harvest. And as I said, actually picking it, they are harvesting that food. So let's look at some of this delicious food that is made from the local harvest. It says, as a result, local festivals serve plenty of tasty fall treats, such as. Pumpkin pie,、mm. freshly squeezed apple cider,、oh. and clam chowder or、ah. clam chowder, which is kind of a thick seafood soup made with potatoes, cream, or milk, and clams, and is very tasty too. And that's definitely. I was just telling you that's、mm-hmm. one of my favorite、It、things is to have. Very, you can actually get that here in a can. I mean,、right. it's not fresh, but if you want to have a little taste of New England, find a can of clam chowder at your local supermarket. That'll give you an idea, and it actually says New England. Oh, that's true. It's often called New yeah, England yeah. clam chowder because right, there's、yeah. different types of true, clam chowder. True, true,、right? true. Yeah. So we're talking about freshly squeezed apple cider.、Mm. Oh, I love apple cider. So when you squeeze something, it's when you are taking something in your hand or even a machine, and you are. You are basically trying to crush it tightly,、mm. so the contents of this thing might come out.、Yeah. So, for example, we mostly talk about fruits,、mm-hmm. you know, like apples, lemons. You squeeze the juice out of it,、mm. but you might also have a ketchup bottle. True. Where you try to squeeze the ketchup out of the bottle. That's true. If the ketchup bottle is made of plastic, if it's glass.、Oh. Don't、Ugh. squeeze it too much, but yeah, toothpaste, right? You don't shake the toothpaste on here.、No. You don't just wait for it to fall out. No, you squeeze it. You put pressure around the outside to force something out the top.、Yep. Exactly right. So, so I squeezed the bottle to、uh, get the sauce out. Ah, that must have been your plastic ketchup bottle, or maybe mustard, or salad dressing, or something like that. Back to the article. <laughs> One such festival is. Halloween. Ooh, I've never heard of this one. <laughs> one such festival is Halloween. Absolutely, Halloween is popular around the world, but it is taken especially seriously in New England. And yeah, that is absolutely true. If you go to New England at this time of year, especially at nighttime, some of those trees have no leaves on them. The big moon is out. It can be a little spooky、Ooh. and scary. All、uh, right, we'll be right back with part two. Okay. Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们在第一天的课程介绍了新英格兰的美丽风景，还有秋天时它有着各种鲜艳色彩的树木。不过呢。
，新英格兰的乡村并非只有美丽的色彩。由于秋天是收获的季节，当地的节庆活动会提供大量美味的秋季美食，像是南瓜派啊、鲜榨苹果汁，还有蛤蜊浓汤。那其中一个重要的节日就是万圣夜。我们知道万圣夜在世界各地都很受欢迎，可是呢，在新英格兰尤其受到重视。来看单字 offer。Offer 它是动词，表示提供。Harvest 它可以当名词来指收获、收成或是收获时节，它也可以当动词去表达采集、收割或是收获。再来看 squeeze，squeeze squeeze, 它表示榨出，像是榨出液体，也有挤跟压的意思。单字例句提到说，挤压瓶子把酱汁挤出来。Mike 老师这时候提到番茄酱啊、芥末沙拉酱，那老师说的 mustard，mustard mustard 就是芥末。Salad dressing 就是沙拉酱。那这边两个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看第一个重点是 all that 主词加动词，这是指说什么什么的一切，唯一什么什么的事。All 在这边相当于 the only thing。那么 that 主词加动词这部分是形容词短句，用来修饰 all。举例来说 ，All that I need is some peace and quiet。我只需要片刻的宁静。那第二个重点是 take something seriously， 这是表达认真、严肃地看待某事，把什么当一回事。举例来说 ，Donald doesn't take his job seriously。Donald 不把他的工作当一回事。这话课文中。In fact, the town of Salem, Massachusetts, is home to the world's largest Halloween celebration. There, visitors can dress up, tour haunted houses, and watch a special pet parade. They can also learn about Salem's dark past as the location of history's most infamous witch trials. At the Rebecca Nurse Homestead, guests can explore the real home of a woman who was hanged in 1692 for being a witch. Other witch-related spots include the Witch Dungeon Museum and the Cauldron Black Store. During fall, the days get shorter, temperatures drop, and plants begin to die. Yet New England feels at its most alive and exciting during this season. All right, so New England and Halloween go together like pumpkin pie and fresh apple cider. Let's keep talking about Halloween in this part of the world. It says, in fact, the town of Salem, Massachusetts, is home to the world's largest Halloween celebration. There, visitors can dress up, tour haunted houses, and watch a special pet parade. And I'm sure you'll see lots of scary pooches and creepy cats. Well, that's what I'm really、that、excited to find out、yes. about the pet parade.、Mm. They can also learn about Salem's dark past、mm. as the location of history's most. Infamous witch trials. Yes, indeed, the Salem witch trials. Look them up. This is a real historical thing that happened、uh, three, four hundred years ago. A trial is basically a court case when someone gets in trouble with the law. They're caught by the police, and then they have to go and be judged by a judge. Lawyers will be involved. Maybe a jury, a group of people, will listen and decide: Is this person guilty? If they should go to jail for how long? But that whole process, that whole sort of rich. That we go through in order to have peace and law and justice in our country. Those actual events are called trials.、Mm -hmm. The example sentence says, "The trial was watched across the country." Ooh, maybe a, a famous person was in trouble, and everyone was interested in watching the trial、yeah. as they do. Now we know that the Salem witch trials were.、Mm. Infamous. Yes. So, regardless if the witches were real or not, they probably weren't real witches. But the trials definitely. The trials were real. Were yes. Right. Okay. So let's continue with our article and find out a little bit more. Okay. At the Rebecca Nurse Homestead, guests. Can explore the real home of a woman who was hanged in 1692 for being a witch. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I guess they kind of keep the house looking 
as it looked back in 1692. It says other witch-related spots include the Witch Dungeon Museum and the Cauldron Black Store. Well, I'm I'm scared to go in these places, and I don't even know what they are. I'm actually really <laughs> excited. I'll go with you if we can hold hands. Oh, okay. Can I hide behind you? Yes, you okay, can. Okay, thank you. Yeah, they sound really exciting because I've always been fascinated、yeah. by Salem and its rich history. Right. And、yeah. it's nice to know that there are lots of spots in、mm. the town that. They're kind of honoring because, in a way, they're sorry about what happened to the women that、Very、went through,、yeah. right? That were unfairly treated.、Yeah. So there are lots of spots that people can visit、mm. to res- to pay respects、right? and and kind of remember this part of Salem history.、Yeah. So what a spot is? It's not just a dot on、Ow. your shirt. A spot could be a place or a、mm. position that some, some, somewhere or something is.、Mm. Okay. So, for example, the town has many spots to get great street food. Oh, whenever I go to the beach, I try to find a quiet spot,、mm. kind of away、yeah. from everyone, just a place, a location, somewhere on the earth. All right. Back <laughs> to the article. During fall, the days get shorter, temperatures drop, and plants begin to die. Yet New England feels at its It's most alive and exciting during this season. That is definitely true, and it is definitely one of many reasons why visiting New England in the fall is something you should try to do if you ever get the chance. You won't regret it. So, our what do you think question is: What is your favorite time of year where you live? So, I guess here in Taiwan. In Taiwan,、mm. this is hard, but I would like to say that my favorite time of the year. Back when I was living in the states,、okay. would be in the winter time. Oh, really? The winter? Yes,、hmm. because it's Christmas and it it's just this joyous feeling. You know, yeah, warm, it's a special time、cozy. of the year. There's、We're, just something about it. Were you in a cold part where there's snow and you can do all that snow stuff? Yes, we、okay. could go there. So that's that, that's what I love. That I just would love be、snow. pretty awesome. So, what about you guys? Do you have a favorite time of the year where you live? Or is there a place like New England in the fall, a place you would love to visit at a certain time of the year, like maybe I don't know Japan in April to see the cherry blossoms?、Yeah. Have a chat about that. We'll be back with more good stuff soon. Until then, take care and bye bye. Just now, said Wan Sheng Ye is in New England, especially in the fall. 事实上啊，塞勒姆镇是世界上最大的万圣夜庆祝活动的举办地。在那边，游客可以盛装打扮，参观鬼屋，还有观看特别的宠物游行。相信应该可以看到一些宠物猫啊、宠物狗被主人精心的打扮。好，那么麦克老师刚好用到 pooch 这个字来指狗 ，p o o c h pooch 就是狗，它是口语用法。好，那么课文接着提到说，游客来到这里还可以了解塞勒姆作为历史上最恶名昭彰的女巫审判地点，那它那一段黑暗的过去。那那边也有一些跟女巫有关的景点，像是这个女巫地牢博物馆啊、黑锅商店等等。好，我们来看单字 trial。Trial， 它表示审判、审理，是当名词。那老师们在讲到不公平对待时，有用到 unfair 这个字，在 fair 前面加上 un。unfair 可以形容不公平的、不公正的。那它的副词 unfairly 就是表达不公平的、不公正的。好，再来看下一个单字 spot。spot 它是指地点、场所。那补充一下 ，Kiki 老师最后聊到说，他最喜欢美国的冬天，尤其是圣诞佳节那种欢乐温馨的气氛。老师这时候用到 joyous， 在 joy 后面加上 o u s， 那这个形容词可以形容欢乐的、愉悦的。老师还有用到 cozy，c o z y。Cozy 是形容温馨的、惬意的，或是温暖、舒适的。那这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，这边我们来介绍一下 dress up， 它可以当不及物用，表达装扮、盛装打扮。那我们可以用 dress up as 加上名词去表达装扮成什么什么，或者是用 dress up in 加上名词去表达穿上什么。那这边来造三个例句。第一个例句是 This is not a formal event. There's no need to dress up. 这不是个正式场合，不需要盛装打扮
。那第二个例句是 ，He dressed up as a zombie for Halloween. 他在万圣夜打扮成僵尸。那第三个例句是 ，She dressed up in a fancy dress for the party. 她穿上华丽的洋装参加派对。好，那么以上这些讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。Beautiful colors aren't all that the New England countryside has to offer, though. As fall is a time of harvest, as a result, local festivals serve plenty of tasty fall treats, such as pumpkin pie, freshly squeezed apple cider, and clam chowder. One such festival is Halloween. Halloween is popular around the world, but it is taken especially seriously in New England. In fact, the town of Salem, Massachusetts, is home to the world's largest Halloween celebration. There, visitors can dress up, tour haunted houses, and watch a special pet parade. They can also learn about Salem's dark past as the location of history's most infamous witch trials. At the Rebecca Nurse Homestead, guests can explore the real home of a woman who was hanged in 1692 for being a witch. Other witch-related spots include the Witch Dungeon Museum and the Cauldron Black Store. During fall, the days get shorter, temperatures drop, and plants begin to die. Yet New England feels at its most alive and exciting during this season. Hey hey hey! It's Kiwi on the street. I'm Kiki and I'm Winnie. While this guy, he's really lost in his book. Lost in his book? What do you mean? He's right here. Oh no, that means he's really into his book. He's really concentrating. Oh, so it's another one of those phrases. Exactly. Let's work on some new phrases. All right, let's work on some phrases. Our first one is 朴实的。脚踏实地的 ，Which one do you think it is? Down to earth. Down、What? to floor. Maybe. Down to floor. Maybe. Down to earth. Maybe down to floor. Down to floor. Down to earth. Down to earth. Yeah, come on, you guys got that because you guys are both correct. Very good. Okay, our next one. 闪躲 Dog and dodge. Dog and dodge. Dog. Yeah, me too. Dog you and also... dodge. Dog and dodge. What dog is? and dodge. 感觉应该是 dog and dodge 吧，感觉它比较。这个听起来比较好玩一点。First one, okay. Dog and dodge. So this one? Yes. Dog and dodge. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. So it's actually duck and dodge. What have we learned today? Hey, let's check out the phrases that we learned today. The first one is down to earth. It means someone that is decent, simple, and realistic. They are practical and straightforward people, so they don't say things that they don't mean. They don't like to lie, and they don't really like to show off. Our next phrase is duck and dodge. Now, the duck here, we're not talking about the animal. The word duck we're talking about is. Used as a verb, and it usually means to get down low, to get away from something, and to dodge also has the same meaning. So when you put them together, you're describing someone that is really trying to get low and get away from something. And those are the phrases that we learned today. Kiwi later.